Hey guys, how you doing? It's Chantel from Craft It Fritty. Now, yesterday I went to the uh, Creative Craft Show in XL London. It's just up the road for me, so I thought, never been before to a craft show, I'm gonna go. Right, so I went. Oh my goodness, guys, it was really, really good. When I went there, I wrote a list of things that I wanted to get. So it was paste, it was um, uh, just anything new I hadn't seen before, stuff to draw on glass with, because I've got so many glass bottles that I've been collecting since last year, I've not used. So I wanted stuff to draw on glass with, um, you know, just stuff that I hadn't used before, lots of mixed media stuff. So I went round to all of the stores and guys, hmm, did they deliver it or what? So many goodies, so many goodies, so many goodies. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of them. If you wanna see um, them properly and have an idea of what I'm gonna do with them, I'm gonna do a live tonight at about eight o'clock, I'd say. Gotta get the kids in bed. About eight o'clock over on my Facebook page. I'll put the link on, in the bio on my Instagram page, obviously, and then it will take you straight across there, yeah? So you can see what I'm gonna do with them. I've got some really good ideas. Obviously, I've never used this stuff before, so if the ideas will work, I haven't got a clue, but I guess we're gonna find out. So let me show you a couple of things, right? So I saw this. I didn't know what it was, gel text paste. As I said, I'm very new to mixed media. I've not used any of this stuff before, um, but I saw it on a glass and, um, and it gave it like a frosty sort of look. I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. So obviously I had to get that. As you can see, I've not opened anything. I, I, did, I went there yesterday and when I came home, I was so tired that I couldn't even um, go through it. Oh, oh my goodness, look at this. Because I knew if I opened stuff, I would end up, do you know what I mean? Being awake all night, playing with it. So I thought, not, just don't touch it, just leave it in the bag. It was very difficult, leave it in the bag, don't touch it. And you're gonna deal with it tomorrow. So you can have a proper play, you know, Look at that, that is so cool. Apparently you put it on, well I'm going to try it, I'm going to put it on glass um, and it gives it like a nice frosty sort of sort of look and it's a lovely texture on the outside as well, so cool. That was from Pin Flare. I saw the lady from Pin Flare that actually does all the um, demos on the TV on Create and Craft, it was really nice to meet her. So yeah, Gel Text, that was from Pin Flare. And also some modeling paste oh my gosh it took me so long to choose which one to get because <laughs> there were so many <laughs> but i thought i've got some mousses coming i ordered some mousses um from from uh crayon craft so i'm just waiting for that to come and i've got some in like gold and silver and some other sort of light colors so i thought i'm just gonna get a little bit of this to play with oh look how rich that looks oh i love it look at that oh my goodness I can't wait to stick that on something. I don't even know what I'm going to stick it on. That's the thing. I've got to work all of this out. So new to mixed media. I'd love to know who's used this sort of stuff, like the modelling paste. Who's used the paste? Who's used gel text? What you've done with it? Get a couple of crafty ideas. Right, what should I show you next? Oh, gosh, yes. Oh, right, yes, 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 yes. So this. <clears throat> so I saw this in Pepeo. They had a stand there. Um, and because it says you can draw on glass with it so you can draw it on glass obviously so I want to do it on yeah on glass as they say but I also want to do it on mugs as well so um, hopefully it should be alright on, on mugs there was another one for ceramics actually hmm maybe I should have got the other one as well but it doesn't matter do you know what we're going to put it on and we're going to hope for the best. <laughs> That's what I always say. <laughs> I don't know if it will work, but I, I guess we're going to find out. There we go. So that looks really cool. Um, this drawing gum as well. This drawing gum. I'd never knew known what it was for, but apparently you draw it on if you want to mask something out on your work. Like if you're doing like birds or something. And then you, you paint over it. And then when the paint's dry, you rub this off and then it, it's left the bird there so it's like a, a white space that's really cool and you just rub it off and it rubs off love it love 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 it got gesso got some lovely gesso there got some downstairs in my in my garage 
in my craft room, garage, you know, same thing, same difference. Um, but it was a small tub, so I thought, that looks like a mega tub. That looks like it's going to do some, some work, doesn't it? Look how big that tub is. <laughs> it's humongous. It is massive. So I thought, yeah, we need to get some of that. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Now, I'm, you know, I'm always late to the party, me. I'm always, I'm always the last one to the party. So, you know, forgive me if you've seen this before and you're like, oh, that's been out for years. But when I saw this in action, I was like, you're not serious at all. This is so cool. So, I didn't even go there to get nail stuff, right? As you can see, they did my nail. You can see that's, that's from it. And this one, don't look at the rest of the nails. They are a shock. But hopefully, see, this is a good transformation, actually, because you're going to see them like this. And you're going to be like, later on, oh, my God, she never did those with those. Yes, I did. So the, the, what you do, right, you've got different, um, these are plates, different plates. You take the blue off. You put the nail varnish, whatever one you want, and then you use this. It's got a little dab up, but it's soft on the top. To so then roll over the top to pick it up. And then you just put it on your nail. And it comes out like that. When she did that, I was like, oh my God. I was like, that's magic. <laughs> You're not serious. And then I had to try it out myself and I could do it. So I was like, yes, we'll have one of those. So I got it with several plates, several different plates. Really cool. Look, look at these designs. So these are for obviously the edges of the nails, which I love. You could do like French tips with funky French tips on there. This one's got lots of sayings and you know I love a slogan. So I was like, yes, we'll have a little bit of that. Look at these slogans, so cool. Be wild and free. Absolutely, motto of life. Can you imagine that on your nail? People be wondering, how on earth did you get that on there? So cool, so, so cool. Love, 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 love. I like these, these were quite fun. Got a few cupcakes. Hell no. Hi. Miss you. Hello. You know, it's just a fun little things, and obviously you can, you know, do it different colours, ombre effects. So I'm gonna have a little play with those. Showed you that one, that one. Oh, this one and this little cute one. Just more sayings on this one. I love the slogan. Yeah, so I can get really creative. So when you're seeing me do my demos, you'll see me do it with lovely nails now. You'll have to look at, you know, <laughs> this nonsense. <laughs> oh, love, 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 love okay what else okay so i've got these papers these were a pound each when i saw these i was like what i don't even actually i don't even know how much is in a pack to be honest but i love this look at this it's like a newspaper newspaper it's quite thin but obviously you just layer it onto card i don't even know what i'm going to do with it yet but i know i'm going to do something look at this it's so nice so lovely like script i really love this color I just bought a coat in this colour, actually. I don't know if it's... I've just loved this colour at the moment. It's like a plum red. It's just delicious. So you've got the glare of the camera. Let me try and take one out. I tried to open one yesterday, and it's like they didn't want me to open it. Like, it's it's so stuck. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right, let me take it out so you can see it a bit better. Love, love, love. Isn't that nice? And it smells of paper. I was just smelling it. <laughs> So I opened it out of the packet, I could smell it. Oh, lovely, so nice, so nice. This will be amazing in like um like a junk journal or um scrapbook. Oh, so many things. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And then like a damask print as well. I might take this one out because I don't want them all over the place. Like a damask print, that's lovely. Yeah, so it was one pound each for those, or six for f um, five pounds. So me and a friend of mine that I went with, a crafty buddy. Hey, Debbie. Hi. Who I went with yesterday. We, um, yeah, I got five and she only wanted one. So, but you know, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. <laughs> okay, so what else? I won this actually at the Pepeo stand. They was doing like a little Wheel of Fortune thing and you spin it and there was like different goodies. So I've never used it before. But I guess I'll find out what it's what it's about. You know, that's what it's... You know, it looks like a lovely colour, like a sort of pinkish... Hmm, I don't know how I use it. I'll work it out. 
that's what it's about discovery isn't it this i thought was really cool now on the news the other day i heard that um they do this with koala bears because they eat just eucalyptus they and um, then take their poo and run it as paper make it into paper so when i saw this one i was like yes yeah, gotta have that <laughs> so it's elephant poo paper a hundred percent recycled i love it i love that idea love 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 yeah this will just writing on this will just give you so many ideas just looking at this do you know what i mean so i was like i had to have that i'm gonna make it into a nice snake look like i do my um my other journals let me see if i can get one hold up there guys nearly there right this one so i made this one a couple of years ago see and this, I just write down all of my inspirations in there. Anytime I find anything interesting or like a special quote or something like that. Um, like this one, look, look at this. Finally making money. Yay! Thank you, Craft It Pretty. That was last year I wrote that. Can you imagine? A year ago. I can't even believe that. So I'm going to make it into something like that, sort of like an inspiration journal. That would be really cool for that. Really cool. And then I found these papers. These were the same people doing these papers, right? look at these papers and the the actually i'm going to put a video on my on my page you're going to see it on my instagram page of the guy making this paper so cool so so cool you can see it's got the flowers in there the seeds in there are oh, just amazing and it's actually you can feel the texture of the seeds and the flowers which is what i just couldn't get over i just thought that was incredible so ingenious and these are the same people that use um the crushed up paper money from the bank of england yes and put it into their um the bank notes and put it into the paper as well i didn't actually get one of them, those i realized i didn't get one but this has got golden you can't really see it too well because of the glare but you're going to see it properly later on gold and silver flex in this one and this one was just nice and simple i loved it when i saw it i loved it it just reminded me of like um i don't know like petals falling from you know like a um a flower just falling down i just thought that was amazing so I scooped those two. Oh, I got so much yesterday, guys. I'm so happy with the things I got. It's just, oh, I can't wait to start playing with these. And last but not least, oh, I saw these. So these were from Glitzcraft. I saw these, actually, I think I saw these on Create and Craft and I was like, I need to get those. But um, I, I didn't get them. And I saw them, I was like, oh my God, I need those. Oh, look at this. It's like sorbet. I'm smelling it. It looks like you can eat it, but obviously you can't. So this, right, because I've got, let me show you. Let me show you what I've got. Right, the other day, the other day I bought a bottle, right? You know, I do usually, I do vinyl on bottles. But I thought to put vinyl on this is a bit too plain. Like you need, you need something extra on this because it's incredible. Look at this. So before I usually make them to sell, I test them out by having it, you know, using it every day, throwing it in, in, in my handbag, making sure that it's durable and it really, really, you know, so when I sell it, people don't come back to me and say, oh, you know, it's it's chipped or whatever within a few days. So I'm still testing it out at the moment. I had it about a week. But um, I've not put my name on it because I just didn't know what to do with it. But I saw these and I thought, hey, hey, hold on. This could go on here. <laughs> now, it's a relation to me, right? But if you've tried something like this, tell me how it turned out. I don't know if it's going to stick on there. It should do because it says it goes on any surface. So I'm going to make a stencil and then put it on there. I'm not sure what colours I'm going to use yet. Probably this yellow because it's so opposed to it. It looks like it shouldn't go with it. So that's why I have to put it on. You know what I'm like. So I think this with that and then we'll see how it goes. You're going to see me do a, um, a video of this later on. I'll tell you when it's out so you can see how well or how badly it goes. I guess we're going to find... But look, there's so many colours. I just got put, put in them in my basket. I was like, oh my God, there's so many. Look. And if you see how glittery they are, you can't really see it here. Can you see it here? Can you see it here? Can you see it? Can you? No, you can't. You can't. You can't see it. It's so glittery. It's ridiculous. It's a crime how glittery these are. I can't even get it out of my mouth. <laughs> it's so glittery. Oh my god. The glittery is. I can't even say the word glittery. The glitteriness. The glitteriness of this is so glittery. It's a crime. It should be a crime. It's ridiculous. <gasps> yes, you can see this. Can you see it? Can you see it? Kind of. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. You can kind of... Can you see it? Can you see it? Cut. Mm. Mm. Cut. Do you know what? 
later on i will get some out and you'll see it you're gonna be like oh my goodness you're not, you're not serious obviously i had to get um what's it rose gold twice because that's just the sort of person i am two rose gold two rose gold i think it was like eight for 22 pounds usually they're 350 each but you know eight for, for 22 pounds i was like yes put it in the basket i'll have those give me them coming home with me ah <sighs> And that's why I met Debbie Bradley, actually. She always say, also does um, demos. And I got a lot of advice from her about how she started out um, and how she managed to end up, you know, presenting on TV and things like that. So lots of good nuggets there. Oh, guys, if you love this haul, just say love. That's all, you, that's all the words you need. Just say love, love, love in the comments so I know that you're on the page that I'm on with this. Like, this is just the haul of a century yeah oh my goodness love 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 so as i said later tonight at 8 p.m you know i'm always running a few minutes late so hey we'll, we'll, we'll aim for eight um yeah and i'm gonna try and get a few of these out with a bit of paper see what i can do with it and then we'll go from there yeah so yes i'll see you later thank you